Welcome back. Roughly 70,000 people here in Connecticut suffer from Alzheimer's disease, but those with Alzheimer's aren't the only ones who are affected by it. Family members, including children, often feel the impact of their loved ones suffering from this crippling disease. But one local nurse is helping young people understand the disease, and she's joining me today, Jean Kessler from Hartford Hospital Institute of Living, along with Mary Baronis. Welcome. Thanks for coming Hi. on the show. Thanks. So, Mary, your grandfather has Alzheimer's, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, let's first First, talk about the program, Mary, how you got involved, and um, Jean, if you want to talk about how you decided to start this organization. Sure. Um, working as a nurse in long-term care facilities years ago, I noticed that when children came to visit their grandparents, they were somewhat awkward. They didn't always know how to respond mm -hmm. to their grandparents. If they forgot their name, they felt like it was their fault, the children, or they did something wrong. And I realized that the kids needed to be educated about the disease in order to make the most of their relationship with their grandchildren. So I developed a program that was a combination of education and also having the kids come and interact with people that had Alzheimer's. So Mary, let's talk about your grandfather. You're 15 now, mm -hmm. but when was he diagnosed? He was diagnosed, I think, in probably 2000 or 2001. Um, so what was that like for you as a kid? You know, I was only five, so I didn't really mm -hmm. know, but um, it was hard for me because my parents it was hard to see my mom and my uncle, mm -hmm. and I could tell that they were having trouble with it. So, right. so you kind of grew up with your grandfather. Did he know who you were? Or he doesn't really anymore. He, 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 I think he knows that he knows me. Right. But he doesn't know my name right. or anything specific. So, how did you get involved in this program? Um, my mom actually found it online, and she. Um, asked me if I wanted to do it and I really wanted to do it because I really like to volunteer and mm -hmm. help out and I like being with older people and hearing their stories. And So Jean, it's called Care Camp Program. How did yeah. you come up with that name and how has it evolved since you first started it? Well, I came up with the name because it was originally started as a summer program for kids and so instead of going to a basketball camp, they could come to a camp where they learned how to care for people. That's mm -hmm. kind of how I came up with the name. And um, I've done it at several facilities. The one that Mary came to was at Buckingham Estates in Glastonbury and um, usually wherever I do it the kids from that local community are invited to come and a lot of times they are children who have a grandparent with Alzheimer's and mm -hmm. sometimes they're just kids who want to volunteer they want to get involved in their community so Mary was five when her grandfather was diagnosed mm -hmm. now she's 15 is there a certain age group you suggest to come to the program well I think the teenagers are work out best because okay. they're old enough to understand a little bit and um, I think they benefit at that point and what's nice is they come and they learn from the program and then they're able to take that learning back to their home with their own grandparents if that's their situation. If you had to give one piece of advice to a child or, you know, to a parent whose father or mother has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, what would you say to them to get through this process? Well, I would tell them to just remember that um, they're still that, that person is still a person, even though they have this disease. Um, they're still that same person that you've always loved and always known. And even though they may have trouble with their memory or their thinking or even sometimes their behavior, that's a result of the disease. And the love and the relationship should always be there between the family members. And to always remember that. Jean, Mary, thank you so much for coming on the show. If you guys want more information, uh, information Jean, you said your website's www.carecampforkids.com? Yes. Perfect. And we'll put that link up on our website too, ctnow.com. Right,